Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome to MLWorks. In this video, we'll talk about image clustering using Sentence Transformer library. So before jumping to image clustering, uh, what is clustering? Uh, clustering is nothing but an unsupervised learning technique to group a bunch of records which are similar in nature. For example, if you have a raw data set of fruits, each fruit has its uh, set of what color, shape and other distinct patterns on it. The algorithm tries to identify those patterns and group them together to form a cluster of that particular object. So basically that is a simple definition of clustering. And for image clustering what we'll do is we use a sentence transformer library which has many pre-trained models. And for this exercise we'll be using clip based model which is nothing but contrastive language image pre-training uh, which is trained on a data set which is containing both image and text corresponding to that particular image. So it has been trained on that. So what we'll do is uh, we don't need the end goal of this particular model which is like generating an image based on the text. So what we do is we just need the image aspect of it since we are using this image clustering right. What we'll do is we'll just take an image, we use the image encoder aspect of clip model and generate the embeddings. So in Sentinel Transformer, we directly have what models like clip PIT, B32. We just load those models here. And we also have a data set of unsplash 25,000 image and we load that as well. And totally there are 25,000, that is 24,996 images are present and its corresponding embeddings is also available to us. So we can load that. And we can see here, uh, per image, we have 512 uh, embedding, uh, vector of 512, size 512. So if you have an image of what, 700 into 700, it will be turned into a vector or a list of numbers of 512, of length to 512. Okay, that's what it means. So you have like for 25,000 images, per image you have 512 uh, list of number representing that particular image. So next what we do is we have we write a community detection uh, uh, function. What it will do is it will generate uh, clusters based on the images. Now how you want your cluster to be. So per cluster we need a minimum uh, community size of 10. There should be at least 10 images per cluster. And the threshold is uh, that each uh, inside those cluster the record should match about 90% because threshold is what we give here while creating those uh, community right it should match at least 90 percentage of uh, similarity should be there the cluster should have so these are some some of the parameters we are passing here and we are also passing the init max size there, there should be at max at max you can have only what 1000 images inside one cluster so this is not a very big uh, deal here actually with respect to what the kind of thing we want to achieve. This is just what we do is we compare, uh, we generate an embeddings, we find the cost, uh, cosine similarity score and the, on the top of that we find out the top k which are similar to each other and we create the bunch of clusters. Okay. All uh, And also what we also make sure that uh, one image is not present inside multiple clusters so we create unique communities. And what we do is, if the already a particular index or particular image is already present in one community, it should not be present in another cluster or another community. So, okay, let's define that and run this the total number of clusters. So it will generate around 140 some clusters we have. Okay, um, if you see here, what I am passing is I am passing all the 25,000 images inside it and then clustering all the records and creating these communities or clusters okay and it has this constraints like it should while you're creating the clusters the images should have a similarity of around 90 percent and there must be at least 10 percent uh, 10 records per cluster so at the end we get around 140 some clusters here and we are just uh, looking at each of those particular clusters here per cluster how this is for example cluster size of 482 images so these images uh, all these images are falling under one cluster similarly these 401 images and a cluster of uh, flowers similarly this is for ocean or whatever okay now what i'll do is uh, i'll already downloaded an image from internet uh, which is a docs image 
okay and i'm uh, creating a test embedding of that particular image okay and finding a uh, similarity of this particular image with the 25000 images we already have image embeddings of that okay so once we have done that then we are uh, trying to what map uh, the index and also the score corresponding to it okay once that is done we sort the pairs like index and score pairs based on the highest score of that particular index for example uh, some images for example if you see here a zero index you have 5.0.53 and second index you have 0.45 uh, and here we have 0.62 and we sort it in such a fashion that highest score is at the top and the lowest score is at the bottom so we we'll run this and if we see the pairs we'll see index and its highest score is 0.89 27 the index and we say the score of 8868 now we we'll light it through these pairs and we'll see uh, similar images this is similar image to this particular dog image we have corresponding similar images now what i'll do is i'll download an image of cat image and then let's see so we'll generate we we'll download this one and generate an embedding of this particular image and then we'll try to form or find corresponding uh, similar images to this one okay save this image okay i guess my internet speed is slow mm -hmm. Let's download this image. Save the image. This is cat underscore image. Let's load that particular image here. Let's see. We are able to generate them, and this looks like a very small image. Let's see. Okay. Okay. That's a generated. now let's see yeah okay let's see corresponding okay we have found other images similar to this one so we are at the end of our video so what we understood from this video or this notebook is we are generating the embeddings and we are able to cluster them together using community detection function and we are also using that particular embedding technique to identify similar images So that's the end of the video. Thank you.